Hi guys and welcome to another video. So we've got some very, very good news to speak about today and that is of course that Jack Rodwell has finally left the club. The absolute thief. Now the feeling is slightly bittersweet because yeah, it's fantastic that he's left but if we think about it, we signed him for 10 million. He's been with us for 1,422 days. He's estimated to have earned 14.2 million pounds in his wages since he's been at the club, which totals to 24.2 million in general that we've spent on Jack Rodwell. So, who's really the winner? <laughs> who's really the winner? But at the end of the day, I'm happy that he's gone. I uh, I despise the man. We obviously offered him the chance to leave in January, last January, when he was saying he wanted to leave the club. He had that bloody interview where he was trying to explain his situation. This, that and the other said he still believes that he can revive his England career. The England career he never bloody had. He's been injured half the time he's been here. And when he's been on the pitch, he's been shocking. He's been involved in one game in which we've won, in which he has started. And then he thinks, for some God-given right, he deserves a chance playing for the England team. Are you kidding me? So anyway, last January we did offer him a chance to get out. We said, we know we'll cut ties, we'll let you go. Uh, and he said no. He was quite happy to sit on that massive contract and do nothing for the rest of the season. But now, luckily, I'm, I'm hoping that Stuart Donald just, just told him directly in his face, just said, you know, this isn't working, get the hell out, instead of playing bloody pussyfooting around him, and you don't want to upset him. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so glad he's gone. That is some of the best news I've heard in a long, long time. Now, on something a bit different, Paddy McNair has officially uh, gone to Middlesbrough. He went over the last couple of days. Um, and I know... I did say in previous videos, you know, that I, I'm quite happy for him to go for the right price, you know, six or seven million. Um, but <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie, as soon as it did or was confirmed, I was a little bit sour, as I'm sure a few of you guys who follow the channel's Instagram quite well know. Uh, I mean, so what annoys me as well, what he said when he actually did join Borough in this first sort of interview and he was saying, you know, it's been a difficult 12 months, a difficult past 12 months with Sunderland. How was it? You didn't do anything. You were injured for all of it, mate, apart from those four or five games, which if anything, you know, that's the only thing that's boosted your price tag because other than that, you've done nothing for us. And, I, and I've said that, you know, it, he's a fantastic player when fit or in the right league because even when we are in the Premier League, he was injured and when he was playing, he, he wasn't exactly buddy the shining light, was he? He played four or five half decent games at the last at the back end of the season in the championship. So, you know, five, six million for him. I'm happy with that. Let's just hope he keeps in touch and lets us know how good the uh, the, mid the Middlesbrough injury table is. <laughs> yeah, because I'll be very interested to know, mate. I'm not sour or anything, not bitter. <laughs> but in terms of other news, there isn't really too much going on. There's still a million bloody transfer rumours flying about. And as I'm actually recording this video, I've just looked uh, on... A Again, another rumour that apparently Stuart Donald might be announcing a new signing uh, this evening or later on today, which is quite exciting. Uh, the lads did um, start their pre-season training over the last couple of days. They started yesterday morning and I was quite interested to see who's actually turning up. And I know that we don't have a massive squad as it is, but uh, yeah, I couldn't really point out some omissions. I know that Ndong wasn't there. From what I can see, and I'm only saying this from, um, uh, from what I saw on the... Sunderland's sort of Instagram and Facebook Live and stuff like that. There was still the likes of Gooch, Osoro, Madge was there, and it was good to see Jack Ross sort of getting in the rear a little bit because if I, th I think a lot of the players' agents are the ones who are saying that they don't want to be here, but I think if Jack, Jack Ross, the handsome bugger that he is, if he can, you know, <laughs> you know, twist twist the minds a little bit and say, you know, you know, it's a good place to stay here, you know, and just get in the rear a little bit. I think that'd be quite nice. And they did look like they were getting along in training with the likes of Osoro, Madge, like I say, Gooch as well. Honeyman was there. Um, the, the Catamore was there. Matthews, he looked happy to be there, of course, because he's one of the only ones rumoured to want to actually stay. But uh, well, we'll have to see, won't we, guys? In the next, I think, couple of weeks, it will be pretty manic. I know that they're going away to Portugal soon, but... In terms of incoming transfers, we need to really push on now. And I know we can say, you know, it's only been, the players have only been back over the last day or two. But at the same time, we've got an entire squad to build. An entire squad. And I know some people are saying, you know, we need 10 or 11 players. In my opinion, we need more. A lot more than that. Because if, as of right now, if the players that actually we know want to stay, stay. And the players who leave actually do leave. We are going to be left with three or four players. We've just bought... 
an, an extra three in, so that's what six or seven players. You know, if you only got ten more, that's only seventeen players. I'd, I'd like us to have around the region of you know twenty odd, at least half decent first team players who could do a job. So it, it's a massive job, and we do kind of need to get a move on a little bit. I'm not, I'm not entirely lost of patience, but we do need to move on. But that is everything that that's been going on <laughs> as of right now. So guys, you leave in the comments what do you think about Rodwell leaving, what do you think about McNair leaving, and who should we bring in next? Because there are plenty of rumours. Uh, I know, sorry, I did forget to mention that Lyle Taylor, he chose to go to Charlton, which personally I think that is a bit that is a big miss because he is a proven scorer in this league. But, you know, I'm over it. I don't want anyone to be at the club who doesn't want to be here. But, yeah, that's the video, guys. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like button. It would be massively appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.